So time value of money. Now this is 10% of the syllabus. And uh, it's where we are going to be looking at a couple of uh, things under this. We will discuss the issue about simple interest. We will talk about compound interest. We will talk about sinking fund or what is referred to as regular savings. Now the idea about this topic is to find out how much money will be in the future taking into consideration the interest rates. So for instance, if you have an investment account and you put 20,000 there for five years, and the interest rate is 10% per annum, the question is, after the five years, how much money will you get? Now, how much money you get will depend on whether we are using simple interest principle or we are using the odd, compound interest. Now, the idea with simple interest is that, with simple interest, what happens is that the interest is charged always on the principal. So irrespective of the number of years, the interest is charged on the principal. But with compound interest, the subsequent interest is always charged on the principal plus what? The interest for the period, for that case. So, with simple interest, you are going to be calculating the interest on the principal. With compound interest, you are calculating the interest on the principal plus the interest itself. So, let's begin the journey with the first aspect, simple interest. This one, we did it in KG2. So, if you, were, if you attended a, a good school, this one was KG2. Okay. <laughs> Simple interest. Now, the idea about simple interest, as I mentioned, it's about um, how much your money will be for some time at an interest rate. So the formula we use here is S equals X plus N R X. S equals X plus N R X. Where, very important, X is the original sum invested N is the number of period usually in years um, R is the interest rate per annum and then the S is the sum after N periods. The sum after N periods. So that is the idea about the interest rate. Sorry, about the simple interest. So let's say we are using my example here. We put in 20,000 for five years at an interest rate of what? 10%. So how much would the money be in five years' time? So if I'm using this illustration, I'll take a question though. The sum in five years' time will be the original sum, 20,000 I'm investing, plus into brackets the 20,000 times 10%, which is the R, the rate, times number of periods, five. Arithmetically, what do I get? What do we have? 10% of this is 200. 200 by 5 is 1,000. Am I right? Yes, 
The total is how ten thousand. Ah, it's two thousand. Okay, so this will be ten thousand. So thirty thousand. So how much interest did we earn for the five years? Ten thousand. That's the idea. So simple interest, as the name suggests, is simple. But what you must understand is that if the investment period is less than a year, then you need to what? Use x over twelve. Or if it's in days, then you use x over 365 days. So let me explain that. Let's say that KK invested $10,000 for six months at interest rates of so KK Limited Ebaze deposited money for how many months? Six months at an interest rate of 1912 percent How much will the money be after six months? Remember what I told you. If it is less than a year in months, what do you do? X over 12 years. So some after six months will be Ten thousand dollars plus into bracket ten thousand times twelve percent times what six over twelve. Does it make sense? So that's what you do. So what do I have for the total? Ten thousand. Plus 12% is 1200. Half of that will be 600, I guess. Am I right? 10,600. 10, so, this is how much the money will be after six months. Sometimes the examiner may not go in months, but you may express it in days. Like, for instance, if you buy a treasure bill from the government, it's usually expressed in days. And it's a simple interest approach. They don't do compound interest. So let's say, for instance, another account, another example. Men's Bank Limited invested twenty-five thousand dollars for one hundred and ninety-three, one hundred and ninety-seven days at interest rate of. 15% per annum requirement. How much would the money be after the 197 days? So some after 197 days will be $25,000 times 25,000 times times 15% Times 173 over 365. Yes. No, this should be high. What you got? Twenty-seven thousand and twenty-four. That's it. Do you get the idea? So that's what you must understand about simple interest. Either the traditional approach will be done a full year, or it's less than a year in months. You do twelve uh, x over twelve, or it's in days, and you do x over three hundred sixty-five days. That is the thing about that. Now, assuming we are at simple interest, the examiner could ask us to find any of these guys. The period, the rate, and then what? The original principal. Okay? 
So let me take a freestyle question on that, which you will solve. <laughs> Rosalinda Limited. <laughs> Rosalinda Limited invested 200000 dollars for 183 days and made and had a total sum after the investment of two sixty three thousand five hundred required if the interest rate no required find the interest rate how do you do that so you substitute the things into the formula to get your answer. Would you try? Try and let me see. You are finding interest rates. So try and let's see. So let's look at it. Rosalinda Limited invested 20,000. So when we are using the formula S equals X plus NRX. So the sum at the end is 263,500. 263,500 plus into bracket the number of period is 183 days over 365 days times R. That's what we are looking for. Times the sum again, 263,500. Ah. Why are you using 263? Come on. So I'm using, I'm um, using the thing. <laughs> 200,000. So, 263,500 equals 200,000 plus, multiply this by this for me. What did you get? Board mass, you do what is in the bracket first. This one, we did it in kg2. 100 and Two seven three R. So two seven four R. Do you agree? This times this by the R. Two seven four R. You group like terms. Two six three. How come you? None of you got that. Or be nine. Minus. Okay. So we group like terms. So minus two hundred thousand equals one hundred two seven four R. So this minus this. 63,500 equals 100, 274 R. So 63,500 will be equal to 100, 274 R over 100, 274 over 100, 274. It is 18, 1.21. 1.21. What do you have? I should be like 0 0.5. So like 5% or 2%. So you multiply it by 100. Yes. Then it is about 63%. 63%. By 100, yes. 